Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and you've joined me for a three minute makeover using Adobe Lightroom. I'm in the develop module and just to show you where this image of Sydney Harbour Bridge uh, started from, I'm just going to hit the reset button in that bottom right hand corner there. Okay, so it shouldn't take more than a minute or two to uh, completely overhaul this image. So the first thing we're going to do inside of that basic panel is just hit the auto tab tone option there and that resolves most of the exposure issues that we had with this image. I'm then going to come over to the transform panel and I'm going to click on auto upright and this will keystone or render the verticals in this image uh, completely vertical and I'll hit the constrain crop um, checkbox there in order to remove that white area around the image. Okay so we're going to come into the crop um, panel now. Uh, I want to change the shape or aspect ratio from the 3-2 shape of the sensor to 16-9 which is the shape of a widescreen TV. Now I just do want to raise that horizon line so I'm going to drag that a little bit higher. Now the corners are just bumped in there so I'm just going to have to bring that in slightly so I can continue to uh, raise that horizon line and adjust that crop. Now when I get the uh, crop just about right I'm going to hit the crop uh, icon a second time to commit that crop and now I'll come back to the basic panel to uh, basically play with the presence controls that's clarity vibrance and saturation I'll raise the vibrance to around plus 40 now occasionally I might just want to bump the saturation as well to help those warmer colors along a little bit and we're going to finish this image off by going to the uh, graduated filter there now I'll just double click the word effect in order to zero all of these sliders then click in the sky and click and drag down until we get to that horizon line. I'll hold down the shift key to constrain this graduated filter to a perfect vertical and then I'll come over to the exposure slider and then pull that down until I just get the right amount of darkening in that sky. I might also add some clarity for more definition of the clouds here and also increase the saturation as well for a richer blue color. Okay, so let's just click that uh, graduated filter icon again and we'll just press the F key to go into full screen to show you the finished image. Okay, so that really was a lightning fast makeover. Okay, I'll just press the F key again in order to finish this image off. I'll just press the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC and then hit the letter N and this allows me to create a snapshot of this edit. Now if I want to start again and try an alternative edit I will always have this snapshot to return to. Okay so I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. Uh, thumbs up and share the information.